Uh, we haven't heard much yet about uh, non-prostate cancers. Tomorrow we're getting the non-prostate oral papers. Um, uh, and in particular, I've been looking at uh, the forthcoming data in urothelial cancer, bladder cancer. Um, uh, there's not an awful lot that's going to be don't think there's anything there that's going to be massively practice changing. Um, anybody who's been at any meeting recently about bladder cancer will know it's all about checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, we've been getting mixed data recently about that. Um, so what have we got here? We've got uh, we're getting an update on the checkmate. Oh, sorry, sorry, the Keynote 045 study, which was the pembrolizumab phase three in the second line setting, which we already know is a positive study. Um, so we're getting an update on that, and it looks like the uh, certainly the hazard ratio is, is actually slightly improved. It's gone to 0 0.7 as opposed to 0 0.73, uh, and, and we've also got a bit more uh, follow-up on that study because it had quite short follow-up at the uh, the primary publication. Uh, so at 18 months, we're seeing a clear separation of the curve. Still, uh, I think it's going to be 36% alive at 18 months in the Pembro arm versus about 20% alive in the chemo arm so it looks like we're going to you know first hints we might be seeing that prolonged separation of the curves which you see in other diseases with checkpoint inhibitors uh, still early days but I think useful follow-up data uh, there's also quite an interesting um, abstract looking at the combination of pembrolizumab the PD-1 checkpoint inhibitor with a novel immune agent which is an IDO inhibitor um, uh, so IDO1 uh, which is, uh, is, is, is an enzyme involved in tryptophan um, catabolism, uh, and that, uh, and, uh, which is a mechanism of immune resistance. So this is an IDO1 inhibitor in combination. It's a single arm study. It's actually uh, just a cohort expansion of a phase one study in urothelial cancer. Uh, looking like some interesting response rates there. So I think this is the first novel combination immune therapy study we've seen in uh, urothelial cancers. The overall response rate was about 30 5%. Still, single arm studies, difficult to know what that means, no randomization, but uh, potentially seeing the next steps, I guess, in, uh, in, in, in uh, immune therapy and bladder cancer.